my beloved. Today we on page 248, the healing of the blind man. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. All light from light, true God from true God, on this day, make us worthy to meditate on the miracle when you opened the eyes of the blind man on the road to Jericho. In your compassion, open our eyes so that we may know you and follow you with the children of light. We pray and thank you, your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace with the church and her children. Accept the fragrance of our incense and our repentance, that we raise the glory and thanks to you now and forever.
consciences, that we may praise your purity and listen to your holy scriptures to you be glory forever. Brothers and sisters, now I myself, Paul, urge you through the gentleness and clemency of Christ. I am humble when face to face with you, but brave toward you when absent. I beg that when present, I may not have to be brave with that confidence with which I intend to act boldly against some who consider us as acting according to the flesh. For, although we are in the flesh, we do not battle according to the flesh. For the weapons of our battle are not flesh, but are enormously powerful, capable of destroying fortresses. We destroy arguments and every pretension, raising itself against the knowledge of God, and take every thought captive in obedience to Christ. And we are ready to punish every disobedience once your obedience is complete. Look at what confronts you. Whoever is confident of belonging to Christ should consider that he belongs to Christ. And so do we. Praise be to God always. according to St. Mark, who proclaimed life to the world. Let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Remain silent, O listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the word of the living God. Evangelist Mark writes, They came to Jericho, and as Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside beginning. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, Son of David, have pity on me. 
and many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, he is calling you. He threw as in his cloth, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your face has saved you. Immediately he received his son and followed him on the way. This is the truth. Peace be with you. to see and he thought your face 
your face and today Jesus asked, your face will be save you not anything your face in Jesus Christ our Savior that's why brothers and sisters Jesus asked us today to stay in his way in his street in the highway to be with him in the kingdom of God if you don't ask you don't cry nobody listen to you even Jesus look how many blind in the street Jesus he listened to one because he asked in favor have mercy on me and he said twice have mercy on me and to today how many of us starting with me we ask Jesus have mercy on us I know we are all sinners but we know Jesus I encourage you today my brothers and sisters don't be shy every morning ask Jesus have mercy on us help us send the Holy Spirit to guide us in this way because our mission is to be with Jesus our mission is here now in the earth like life earth to let all the universe praise believe in Jesus Christ our Savior not else only this is our mission that's why he gave us mission and should I follow him in his path every day do one step baby steps every day every day like breathe we pray one hour father one hand Mary we'll do one charity we fast we let people we love people every day like Jesus loves us this is the way to follow Jesus this is the way to follow Jesus my beloved now we are in training to be sent to be sent not angels sent each one of us will be sent because we'll be the part of the kingdom of God that's why my brother and sister don't be afraid only cry only ask only ask every day like you breathe every day in the morning ask Jesus help us I love you I believe in you I will be brother and sister with you but every day and do baby steps baby steps and now he know us he create us and he know how much we can do you know each one of us in person and he wait us to cry and ask him again and again don't be afraid to ask him every day amen we proclaim our faith on page 748 we be
Father God of peace and Lord of security, make us worthy to embrace one another with a sincere kiss in the spirit of your man, big love, that may it glory and thanks to you, your Holy Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Oh, no, dear, 
وكيلياتك يحكاتو دحلو فيكون وحلو بساقية متشل ومتيه حصول الحوب والحياة دلعو لمعوني Each time you celebrate these mysteries, you remember my death and resurrection after I come again. Saints, 
assist us through their prayers, and make us worthy of their reward. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O oh Lord, the righteous fathers and teachers who have gone to their rest among the saints. Remember those who diligently carried your gospel throughout the whole world and confirm your holy church in the true faith. Assist us through their prayers and strengthen us in your love. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Favorably remember, O Lord, our parents, brothers, and sisters, teachers, and all the faithful departed here and everywhere who have gone to rest, especially all the family parishioners of St. Joseph. Forgive us and forgive them of all sins and offenses through our Lord God, Savior, and Savior Jesus Christ, who is without sin, in hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and for theirs. Grant rest to God to the departed, and forgive the sins we have committed, with or without full honor. Grant us, Father of God, and forgive us and the departed, so that your blessed name may be glorified in us and all things with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and of your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. What 
Again and again, we thank you, Lord, and praise God you for giving us your body to eat and your living God to eat all of us for people. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, Lord, for compassion and mercy.
We thank our Father for this gift that you have given us, although we are unworthy. Do not shame us because of our sins, but help and save us. That we raise glory and thanks to your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Peace be with you. Lord Jesus, bless for your right hand and bless your people, protect them by your cross, be their shelter and refuge, and perfect them with your abundant blessing. That we raise glory and thanks to your blessed Father and your Holy Spirit now and forever. Please stand. Go in peace, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessings you have received from the full part of the Lord. May the blessing of the Most Holy Trinity accompany the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the one God, to whom be glory now and forever. Amen.